Hi, I'm Daniel, and today I'm going to let my science nerd show. I'm going to be a little different when I do videos like this from other science shows or videos in that I'm going to sh try to show how I either was influenced or connected in some weird way by these science facts that I tell you. So what am I going to talk today about? Biofilm. What is that? <laughs> A biofilm is an extracellular matrix that bacteria excrete or other microorganisms excrete when they adhere to a surface that provides a lot of nutrients to support a colony. Biofilm formation occurs when the bacteria exits its planktonic state, which is their free moving state, and starts switching different genes on and off that will help in the biofilm formation. And once they enter the biofilm um, state, that's when they'll start excreting the slime. So why do the microorganisms form biofilm? Well, once they sense in the biofilm that there's enough of them in it, they've reached a certain amount, they then can use less energy and resources to produce or break down food. They can also help each other in certain ones becoming defense, their defense against viruses or other bacteria, and also just assign different jobs in reproduction. Now, how does this somehow relate to me? Well, I was asked what the post poster behind me was about. I thought it was this one from the Boondock, Boondock Saint quote, but it's actually this one right here. Let me pan over. I don't know how well you can read it, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll just explain it. So, I spent a summer at the University of Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania researching how biofilms were formed in Mycobacterium smegmatis. I'm trying to figure out the lighting here, <laughs> but anyways. Um, the post is pretty much describing how I created these plasmids, which um, the lab created. I inserted the DNA in there, the code to knock out and remove the certain genes I wanted to research in the biofilm formation. The poster is mainly covering one of the genes I knocked out, and this is the evidence proving that I did knock out the gene from the bacteria, it no longer was there, and this is what the wild, regular biofilm looks like. It's pretty cool, little film on top of the solution. And then this is mine, that I knocked out the gene in the bacteria, still formed a biofilm, oh well, found out the gene wasn't that important, but still good to learn that, okay. And the second gene, um, the summer kind of ran out, so I didn't get to see the final results to see if it still formed a biofilm. I think I found out later it did, so oh well. So why was my lab trying to figure out why how biofilms are formed? Well, it's understood that bacteria in the biofilms are more resistant to antibiotics and medication. So if we could figure out how to stop bacteria from creating the biofilms, then hopefully we could use less medication and antibiotics to kill the bacteria that are infecting someone. I hope you enjoyed learning about biofilms. <laughs> Sorry if you didn't. <laughs> Too bad. Deal with it. <laughs> I post videos every Friday on my other channel, The Candy Guy, where I talk about candy. I post videos here every Monday, so I shall see you all next Monday. Alright, have a great day. Bye. Oh, and have a happy new year.